so welcome everyone today in this video we are going to start a new topic you can say band theory of solids now this band theory of solid has a special importance in solid state physics and in general this topic is quite important for your interview purpose also as well as for your net exam also so it is very important to understand this particular topic so you can write the title band theory of solids now before we going before we go to this band theory of solid we have to know certain theory more theory so why did we require this band theory of solids we had our free electron theory okay so basically free electron gas model was primarily introduced free electron gas model so <clears throat> this free electron gas model was introduced to describe metals and this was purely a classical model you can say so in free electron gas model several mod ma classical approach was taken we had uh, we took some classical theory related to this mb distribution we took then we also took some quantum theory as well we tried to explain it using fermi dirac theory where the you know the distribution function uh, uh, had a form like this 1 by e to the power e minus ef by kt plus 1 this was the form of the fermi dirac distribution function but this free electron gas model had some drawback and because of which it could not explain certain properties it could not explain the properties of the semiconductor and it also failed to explain the behavior of insulator in brief it could not tell you why certain material certain certain material uh, so more conductivity and certain material so less conductivity it means it is not able to explain the behavior of semiconductor or insulator now why this free electron gas model was a failure that's a big question so free electron gas model was based on the <coughs> potential inside the crystal which was taken to be constant or zero potential okay so if you consider the inside of a material as per this free electron gas model it had <coughs> constant or zero potential and the electrons could freely move in this inside this crystal and they were only got limited by the surface only other than that there was nothing to stop their motion and this oversimplification led to the failure of free electron gas model now to explain certain phenomena which could not be explained by using free electron gas model this thing got modified so instead of constant or zero potential here it was considered that the potential offered by the crystal atoms are constant or even zero potential so these electrons could freely move according to this free electron gas model that is why the name free electron gas model now to <coughs> overcome this failure band theory of solid was introduced and in band theory of solid instead of this constant or zero potential some other potential were taken now the exact form of the potential is quite complicated now so to simplify it some kind of periodic potential was considered and now the iron core was also given the importance so if for the simplification purpose we are considering an array of atom okay like this and each electron is associated with this ion cores these are electrons and because of this one dimensional array of atoms 
the potential took a form like this. So, if you consider this is as V of x. So, let us say these are the atom positions. These are the atom positions. So, instead of considering constant or zero potential in band theory of solid a potential of this kind was considered ok potential of this kind was considered Anacademy is India's largest online teaching learning platform. You can prepare for various competitive exams like CSR, NET, GET, GEST, IIT JAM, TFR. Especially if you are preparing for CSR, NET, Physical Science, you can join me on Anacademy Plus. I cover all the nine units of CSR, NET, Physical Science syllabus. My approach is especially I precisely give you the concept of the concerned topic. Then I discuss the relevant mathematical formula and do the analysis. Relevant problem based on the topic, including previous year questions, are discussed. Homework and assignments are also given. This is my profile and if you want to join my Anacademy Plus process, you can enroll for this course. And if you are new to this Anacademy uh, platform, you can take Anacademy Plus subscription using our referral code Felix R. And Anacademy will give you 10% off. So take the Anacademy Plus subscription today and put your feet one step ahead towards reaching your goal. Thank you.